This video will show what it's like to use the Android Kindle app on the Books Leaf 2. I have just booted up this device and I close the cover to put it to sleep and I open it up and it wakes up pretty fast. Uh, these are the books that are using the, uh, the built-in uh, books reader. You can, by the way, just replace the launcher. This is just like their launcher, but go over to apps. I've already installed the Kindle app. I've already signed into it and I've already um, used the settings to make it so that the page turn, I mean, the volume buttons here will actually turn the pages properly. You actually have to tell the Kindle app itself to, there I'm launching it. You have to tell the Kindle app itself to use the volume buttons for page turning and you have to make sure that the books is using these, is telling the Kindle app that these are volume buttons instead of some sort of specialized page turn buttons, but then it works. Uh, it takes a little bit. Look, you'll see uh, this uh, app launched uh, reasonably quickly, you know, not as fast as on like an iPad. Um, and it's like a, I don't know, a cold boot. You know, the app wasn't already loaded into memory or anything. And here's one of my weird Beatles books. And here we are. And now, look, you can turn pages just like that. I think page turning is really what you want, right? The down button um, is what goes forward, which makes some sense. Bada bing, bada boom. And now it happens, bam, goes to sleep, wakes up, you're reading again. Not terrible. Let me just leave the app. I'm not gonna teach you how to use the books interface in this video. You can figure it out. Library, apps, back to Kindle. You know, not bad. I do prefer the built-in reader because it is slightly faster and because uh, I really don't want to be too involved with uh, Amazon all the time, you know, but that's nerd stuff. So there you go. Works fine.